What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Splatoon news. I'm also bringing you some Fire Emblem if news, but you know, not too big of topics, but still things that you need to know. Now the first thing, there's actually a Nintendo Direct plan for Europe and Japan. Now everyone was saying that this is also planned for America. Most likely Americans will be able to tune in to the European one, but it's not like they have one specifically set for America. Now these are confirmed on Europe's pages and Japan's pages, but not on America's pages in terms of Twitter yet. So I mean, I guess we're not getting an official American Splatoon um, Direct, but we are getting the European one, so we'll just tune in for that one. Um, that's basically, it's scheduled for May 7th here. This is all by Nintendo Everything, so um, time zones and whatnot. North America will be on 10 a.m., UK 3 p.m., and Europe on 4 p.m. CEST. And then Australia, oh, damn, okay. Okay, here we go. Damn, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. So the only ones that are being left out of this that are major players are America, funnily enough. But I mean, still, either way, I mean, well, they say North America because we'll be able to tune into the European one. But the sources, if you take a look at these, they don't show the American Twitter page. It's just Nintendo of Europe, the Nintendo of Japan, Splatoon, all that. So I mean, hey. Whatever the case may be, it's still news to get hyped for. I think that there's going to probably be something that's really game changing shown here. I hope that there is because, to be honest with you guys, even though Splatoon, it 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 looks like it hasn't really changed too much over time. I mean, we got introduced to a whole lot of new modes like the dojo and whatnot, and you know some new characters like the octolings and whatnot. But I mean, still, it's kind of it needs something else new added to the mix just to raise hype for it once more, you know? But then again, it's appreciated whenever a game gets anything to, to you know, increase the hype level. So I mean, hey, whatever. It's all good that there's a direct going down for this thing. I'll be live streaming myself watching through it since there will be an American, or rather an English one, going down. So I mean, hey, whatever. We're gonna check this out when it happens, May 7th. And then also Fire Emblem If, which I'm really excited for myself, actually will be getting Amiibo support. So if you take a look at this, Nintendo has updated the Fire Emblem If box arts and they reveal that the game will have some sort of Amiibo support. And you guys can understand why this is exciting for me. Um, when the functionality has yet to be detailed, you can probably expect figures like Marth, Lucina, and Robin, hello, fucking Robin, hello. <laughs> That's the main focus here. The box art also confirms that Fire Emblem If is rated 0C. This will be the first entry in the series with such a rating, which indicates that the game is indicated for players 15 and up. And you know, I was actually taking a look at the zero system before and how like the highest one is X. I mean, is it X? No, the highest one is Z, apparently. Yeah, there we go. But I mean, still, that's pretty damn high rating. I mean, this is that's higher than what you would usually see for a Fire Emblem game. So I'm all about it. Shows that this game is a lot more serious. The story undertones are going to be a lot more drastic, in my opinion. But of course, we all expected this considering how intense the story looks. So hey, Amiibo support in Fire Emblem if how many Amiibo will be compatible with this thing? I can see them doing something interesting like bringing in the Fire Emblem characters if you put the Amiibo down on there. And then who who knows what the hell would happen if you put a Yoshi Amiibo in the Fire Emblem universe, you know? I don't know, but it's good to see that we have confirmation for this. So the main things to take from this video are the fact that um, the Nintendo Direct for Splatoon is happening on May 7th. Make sure you check your time zones to get this thing correct. And that Fire Emblem if we'll be getting Amiibo support. And we'll be seeing ourselves just what kind of support happens for this in the near and future because Fire Emblem If comes out in Japan next month or something like that or in June I think in June so either way guys a lot of news to be hype about let me know what you think about this in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one